Hey everybody, Luke here from Tom Kelly Volvo Cars. We're going to be doing something a little bit different today, a little bit special. I'm going to take you guys on our suggested test drive route in this here XC60 Polestar. This is one of the coolest models that we are offering here at Volvo at the moment. Also on our YouTube channel is a full walk around of this exact vehicle where you can learn a little bit more about what makes a Polestar a Polestar, our specialty brakes and suspension and everything. So if you're interested, I will link that video in the description. But for now, I'm going to put this in hybrid mode and we're going to set off. I have about a half charge on our PHEV battery, so we've got nine miles of fully electric range, and as long as I keep my foot out of it, it'll stay right there using the electric power. If I choose, I can choose pure mode over here on the center screen, and now all I have is electric. Important thing to note, it is 51 degrees outside today, so the summer tires on this vehicle are not going to be performing 100%, so I will not be throwing it around too hard. We do have Olin suspension and a Polestar tuned chassis, so this thing handles extremely well but I don't want to go too crazy today. Right now though, it's a little bit stop and go, a little bit uninteresting. I'll cut you guys back in when things get a little cooler. One important thing to note, you see as I use the brakes here, we we're getting into regenerative braking, so every time I use the brakes, the electric motor in the rear is recapturing some of the wasted energy and putting it back in the battery for me to use later. That'll be very helpful when we get out here on the country roads. So we're gonna roll across these railroad tracks here. A little bit rougher than your average Volvo, but that's what you're looking for when you're in a Polestar engineer. Do you want that performance-oriented suspension? Coming up here, we're going to go around this roundabout and shoot off into the country, so I'm going to go ahead and select Polestar engineered mode. I don't know if you guys can hear that too well, but the gas engine is just fired up, and now I have 415 horsepower under my right foot. And we are going to cut off here onto the right, onto O'Day Road. We've got some curves to check out, a little bit more open. So we're going to saw it in here. Like I said, changes direction unbelievably quick. These two right here, my two left, my right left S complex, it's a lot of fun in this vehicle. Unbelievably grippy. Another thing to point out, we have six piston Akibono brakes with 14 inch rotors. Got a stop sign coming up here. I'm gonna leave it a little late. brake very limited braking with my right foot still comes to a stop this vehicle doesn't really stop it drops anchor and we're gonna lift off right there I don't know if you guys can hear it but the e-charger on our t8 engine up there is screaming away giving me low down torque, and then once it cuts out at 3,500 RPM, the turbo takes over, giving me full boost. It is a sweet experience. Also, when you're going up through the gears, when the engine is in low RPM and not giving us peak power, peak torque, the electric motor out back is gonna take care of that and smooth everything out. While the transmission is changing gears, it also kicks in. Coming up here to a Highway 30, divided highway, we're gonna hang a right. Merging into traffic, high speed like this, it is nice to have a little bit of extra power. After the Pacifica here, we're going to go for it. Instant torque from the electric motor out rear gets you going. Then our 316 horsepower four-cylinder up front takes care of the rest. Beautiful. As I mentioned earlier, the suspension in this vehicle is a little bit firmer due to the bigger wheels and then our Olin suspension. It is noticeable compared to an Inscription or a Momentum XC60, but it is not uncomfortable. It is within the realm of a luxury car as far as I'm concerned. And if you're buying a Polestar engineer, that's something you need to know going in, that it's going to be a little bit firmer. But that's something I really, me personally, I would want. Merging onto the highway, T8s are fantastic. Like I said, linear acceleration, tons of torque. You can get up to highway speed in an instant. Not making any problems for everybody else when you're trying to merge on. Another thing to mention about our XC60 we have here, we also have our new Android infotainment system with Google integration. We have Google Maps up top, that's what I'm looking at down here in the center screen. I also have Google Assistant down low here, and I have Play Store integration allowing me to download various different car-centric apps. Very nice thing to have. Now that we're back into stop and go traffic, I'm going to go ahead and put her back in pure mode. Simple as just tapping through a couple screens there, we're back in pure mode. As you can see, we are on pure battery now. So the rest of the way back to the dealership is going to be silent. Haven't exactly been on a racetrack in this video, been slower speeds, more normal real world driving, but it shows you, you can still have a dynamic and exciting experience driving normal day to day, back and forth to work or whatnot. 
We're going to pull in. I'm going to plug this sucker in before we put it back on the showroom floor. I hope you enjoyed this new format of video. If you're interested in this Polestar, you can reach out to us online. You can give us a phone call or you can stop in. It lives in our showroom most of the time. I would be happy to show you around it. Thanks for watching.